to my channel so today's video is going to be a what's in my bag video now i love watching these i think it's because i'm a really nosy person i just like seeing what people carry in their bags but also i'm such a bag person like i take my handbag more or less nearly everywhere with me um so yeah and i thought i would do my own so let's get started this is my handbag it actually looks quite big on camera but i promise you it's not that big um this is the louis vuitton neverfull bag in the mm size it looks like this so that's kind of it's like 360 that we've just done and this is the mm size there's three sizes um and this is kind of like the middle size um i didn't want to go too big because i don't carry that much to be honest but i didn't want to go too small either because i do quite like biggish bags but not too big so um this is like the medium size and it really does live up to his name of never full because I've not got, like I said, I've not got a stupid amount in here, but, um, you know, I can still get quite a lot of it in. It's got like these things here that you can, that do sometimes slip down, but you can just pull them up and same on this side. And I will say the only downside with it is it doesn't have like a zipper, like a zip. It just has like, hang on, let me show you if I can get yeah it just has see you can see now it just kind of has like a little clasp so obviously for valuables and stuff it's not that secure um that would be my only critique about this bag but it does have a zipper pocket inside so you could always put like your valuables in there and stuff and um i use that for like my valuables and things like that so yeah i've always wanted this bag this has literally been my dream bag for like the past i want to say two or three years and i'm so happy i've got it because it's really good quality and yeah it just absolutely does the job for me so and obviously it's designer so it's def i'm definitely not going to need a bag in a while because i do like my handbags i do have a lot but I just like those everyday ones. This is definitely everyday use. Oh, I forgot to bring the clutch bag in. I have to go and get the clutch bag because there's, there's like a clutch thing that comes with it. So bear with, I'll just go and get it. I completely that. forgot to bring it in earlier, but I've got it now. So inside the bag, you get this, which is like a clutch bag. I know a lot of people do use these as a clutch bag. I've not had the actually the opportunity to use this as a clutch bag yet because in the UK with us kind of still being on lockdown, nowhere is kind of open for me to use it yet. But um, I suppose if you wanted to, though, you could kind of keep your valuables in here because this actually has got a zipper and a little pouch inside as well like that. And it's like quite roomy inside. So, yeah, but I just think it's really, really cute. But this bag is essentially three bags in one. So you get the actual main bag the clutch inside and then you can do this really clever thing i've not actually used this yet but i think what you can do is you can kind of since sides in like that like kind of tuck the sides in yeah i don't know how to do it because i've not actually done it but i know you can do it you can kind of tuck these sides in and pull pull the toggles um and then it's kind of pads the side in let me see if I can do it. No, I can't do it. I don't want to try because I'm scared of ruining it. But I don't really tend to use the toggles like that anyway. I just tend to just have it like this. So, yeah. And it's the monogram um, canvas. Same with the clutch. Um, it's monogram. And it's got red interior because inside the bag... As you can see, it's um, red interior. 
because that's the one that I wanted. I've also got a matching purse as well, but that didn't come with the bag. I had to buy that separately, but I don't use that purse. I used to use it, but I've changed now. Um, but I do still keep it. I do like Louis Vuitton. I just absolutely love the brand. So yeah, this like I said, this is the monogram canvas. And there's, I think, two more designs apart from the monogram that you can get, but I preferred the monogram canvas because it says LV and I think, you know, that's this kind of style is more better suited to me and I just prefer this style. So, enough about the bag. Let's actually, let's see what's actually in it. So, I'm gonna, probably going to pop it up here actually because it's going to be a little bit easier. Right, so, the first thing we have is some tissues i always try and carry um a pack of pocket tissues with me because especially if you've got a cold and you sneeze or you need to wipe your hands you never know when you're gonna need a tissue and i think it's just better than just wiping it on your sleeve or your shirt so i carry a pack of tissues with me and these are from wheelco they come in like a four i think i've got like six pack of tissues um but 10 tissues in each pack so there's that and then i have some wet wipes these are wet ones and uh 12 antibacterial wipes again i carry wet wipes especially because of the virus you know corona ruining my life but yeah, I always try and carry wipes in case I need to wipe anything down or... But just anyway, I just really want to try and start getting into the habit of um, carrying antibacterial stuff. Because I think it's just gonna, it's just more healthy, I think, and just more hygienic. So I carry wet wipes with me as well. I'm trying not to look what's inside so I can just pull out. So the next thing is my book. This is called Always the Bridesmaid by Lindsay Kelk. I'm on, I'm trying, just looking back through. I'm on chapter nine, so I'm not quite halfway yet, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I always carry a book with me in my handbag. Like I said, again, because you never know when you're going to need a book. You could be sitting in a car or you could be sitting on a train or a bus and it's a really long journey, or you just want to chew up a book and you sit in a waiting room or something. So yeah, I always carry a book with me. I'll read the blurb of this book to you in case any of you are interested. Everyone loves a bridesmaid, except Maddie, who's perpetually asked to be one. Everyone loves a wedding, except Maddie's best friend, who's getting divorced. And everyone loves the way Maddie's happy behind the scenes, except Maddie herself. One best friend is in wedding countdown while the other is heading for married meltdown. And as Maddie juggles her best chance at promotion in years with brides of the text and late night counselling sessions, she starts to wonder, is it time to stop being the bridesmaid? I like Lindsay Kelk as well. She's written um, a lot of books like these and all her books are really good. I'm really enjoying this so far. So yeah, that's that. What's next? I have some earphones, so a little bit tangled up. I hate it when earphones do that. I always try and have them really nicely presented in my bag and it just never happens. So I'm just going to untangle these. These are just the basic iPhone earphones that um, come with the iPhone 11. Because I used to have the iPhone 6S, so I've upgraded to the iPhone 11 now. Which is what I'm filming on, which is why it's not in the bag. But I do usually carry my phone in my bag as well or in my pocket while I'm filming on it. So... <laughs> I'm okay. I never used to normally, as I was saying, I never normally used to like the um, iPhone headphones, earphones rather, because they're always too big for my ears. So that was one of the things that I kind of had to get used to switching to an iPhone 11 because my iPhone 6S had the earphone port so I could use any earphones. But with but with the iphone 11 i have to use these ones but these ones are actually okay like i actually really enjoy using these they're really comfy so i'm gonna keep on with them and maybe i might get some airpods one day but who knows but at the minute i just prefer using the wire ones and i always keep earphones in my bag because i like listening to, mu to music if i'm on my own 
like if I need to walk somewhere if I'm on, or if I'm on a bus or something and you know or I want to listen to something that I'm in the car and no one else wants to listen to it I can put my earphones in so yeah earphones are an essential for me next is my purse this is the name's a little bit faded kind of now I don't know if but this is my Kath Kidston purse and really spacious inside it's got like loads of you know pocket holders and you know got pocket holders there obviously I'm not going to show into all my cars and stuff because of personal per, you know personal security reasons but I've got like my you know coins in there and notes and receipts kind of there at the back and I've also got like some little bits and bobs in this pocket here but yeah I really like this purse really roomy um you know quite big. not massively big I said quite big but it's not really it's kind of like you know quite quite slim and the kind of purse that I always like to carry around with me I've always kind of owned purses this size because I just think they're a great size and I said you can fit a lot of stuff in there like for all my cards and stuff because let's face it we all have way too many cards some of them we don't need but I tend to have like all my bank cards and my personal cards like um across here like the ones that I'm you know I kind of just grab the most so yeah that's my Kath Kiston purse really of the design blue with white polka dots so yeah that's my purse what's next I know what's in here but Next thing is my hand gel. So this is like hand sanitizer. This is the Carex Aloe Vera with Aloe Extract Hand Gel. I got this from Wilco. And especially right now, again, hand sanitizer is a must. But I really want to try and start getting into a habit of being a bit more hygienic and, you know, washing my hands and stuff with this and hand sanitizer and stuff. Because it kills 99... Nine, I'll, get, I'll get it right eventually. 99.99% of bacteria so it's supposed to be really good and it does smell really really good as well so yeah really like that next is my perfume this is Zara pink flambe I think I sprayed a little bit too much on, making me choke. But yeah, I really like this. Really nice smell. I've had this for quite a while, actually. I probably should put a new one in my bag. And I, But I will be honest, perfume is not something that I keep in my bag, but it's not something I automatically kind of reach for. So, you know. But I do like to have it in there in case I just want a, you know, a nice little spritz and aroma. So that can go over there. That's it for the actual main pocket, but I can show you, whoops, I can show you, like, see, that's kind of what the main thing looks like, you can see the red interior a little bit better on here. So now I'm going to do the zipper pocket, I'm going to put it on my knee now, actually, so. So in this zipper pocket, I kind of, like, you know, like I said earlier, I keep, you know, keep my valuables and stuff like that, things that are kind of valuable. I have Vaseline because dry lips, no one likes dry lips. So I always try and um, put some Vaseline on my lips to keep them nice and hydrated. Next, I have my bus card. I mean, not that I go anywhere nowadays because in the United Kingdom, it's mandatory now to wear face masks on public transport. And I actually haven't got a face mask yet. So I won't be using buses for a while until I get a face mask because I don't drive a car. So I don't have a car. So um, Simi is the only one that drives and has a car. So I may just go everywhere with him anyway. But I always do like to keep my bus pass in here just in case. Next, I have my keys. This is just like my house keys and stuff. Like, you know, my house keys, you know, there's nothing really interesting about them. It's just to get into my house. Next is my nail filer, file, whatever you want to call it. But I always like to keep one of these on me. Again, like with most things in this bag, I think it's really handy if you chip a nail. It's like, I know with me personally, when I chip a nail, it's like the worst thing in the world. So I always like to just, you know, keep one in here just so I can buff up my nail zipper if I break one. Because 
nine times out of ten before I started carrying this I always used to break my nails and never really have a nail file so I was like oh no I've got to you know, wait till I get home and have really rough nails and it looks horrible but now I have a nail filer in here and Philo, file, filer, I don't know what they're called, but it's your nails anyway. So I always like to keep that in there. And then the last thing is not something that I normally keep in my bag, but um, I have today because I wore it today and I've got it on now. As you can see, very sparkly and pink and pretty. So yeah, so today I have my lipstick in here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Diamonds. Let me just show you the colour. There we go. You can kind of see it. It's just pink with like sparkles and glitter. That's why it's called diamonds. So yeah, I've, like I said, I've got it on now, which is why this is in the bag because I've been wearing it today. And But normally I don't keep a lip gloss or lip sticker in, in here I didn't normally just have the Vaseline but I wanted to wear a lip today with it being Father's Day we've gone to see my dad and Simeon's granddad for Father's Day presents so I kind of wanted to brighten my lips up a bit so that's why that's in there so yeah that is pretty much it guys really for this video and um, pretty much what's in my bag that's all I keep I try not to carry too much stuff because knowing me I'll just carry way too much stuff that I don't actually need and it just becomes really heavy and pointless so but yeah like I said I always wanted to do this video so I hope you've enjoyed it let me know in the comments give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and all my links and social media links and everything in the in the description the blah 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 description box so yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye